Okay, here we go. Where are we going this time? Pennsylvania. Bald Eagle State Forest. Hey everyone, so today we are leaving Niagara Falls. We've had a great time here and it was so much fun to be able to explore this new place with my sister and brother-in-law. Niagara Falls was awesome, so beautiful. And sharing that experience with people you love makes it even better. So as we're leaving here this morning, we're headed east and they're headed west. So now we're back to just Tim and I. While Niagara Falls was fun, I have to admit that we're looking forward to heading back into the forest. So that's our plan for today. We're going to cross back over at Buffalo on the Peace Bridge. Then we have a few errands to run on our way down to Pennsylvania and Bald Eagle State Forest. Pennsylvania has an actual system for dispersed camping, which we were a little surprised about when we first started researching where we wanted to go. So as we head down there, we'll share some of what we learned with you and some of the questions we still have. Maybe some of you have the answers. She thinks I'm a little lazy. I think she's a little crazy. We like summer and we like spring. Watching wrestling and rain. She ain't shy, she speaks her mind. Tough as nails and smooth as wine. We burn hot as kerosene. Baby, we got our own thing. She ain't skinny and I ain't tall. And that don't bother us at all. I run naked through the yard. She flash every police car. Drinking wine and getting tired. And shooting out the damn street lights. How does she put up with me? Oh, baby, we got our own thing. Oh, we got our own thing. Oh, we don't need no rain. Oh, we ain't rich, but son of a... We're a hillbilly king and queen. Life don't seem so hard with you beneath the stars. Cause we're growing four leaf clovers in the yard. quite a wait at the border as you can see and we were a little nervous because we had bought souvenirs some wine and some bourbon and we weren't sure how all that worked we had a list of what we had bought and we had receipts as well and everything turned out fine it wasn't a big deal our first stop once we were back in the U.S. and into the suburbs of Buffalo was to stop for groceries and for laundry we had about a five hour drive from where we stopped outside of Buffalo down to Bald Eagle. But once we hit the southern tip of New York and entered the Allegheny National Forest, the scenery was so amazing. Today we're just skirting around the very eastern side of Allegheny on our way down to Bald Eagle, but in a couple days we'll be coming back to camp in Allegheny as well. Martin Road. Through the cornfields. Oh, we're getting into children of the corn territory. Lock the doors. This is, oh, wait a minute. Han, would you get out and get something out of the trailer for me? <laughs>
we're gonna try the Allegheny National Forest. So now that we're in Pennsylvania, let's talk a little bit about dispersed camping in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has a reservation system for dispersed camping. They have one of the best websites I've seen of any state so far explaining different types of camping and what it means and what kind of comes along with that. So they have a reservation system let me go ahead and click that and um, you can put in what type of camping what you're looking for so camping and lodging and then you can select a specific kind I'm just going to leave it at any camping spot and then select arrival date and how many days and click search and it will pull up the campsites that are available so some of these may be, since I didn't select anything specific, some of them may be dispersed. Some of them could be in state parks like you see here. There is the list or the map view, but right here from the list view, you can go ahead and click. So it's, there's 13 roadside um, camping, which is what we think of as dispersed. You know, Tim and I personally think of as dispersed vehicle camping or there there is roadside hike-in, which they define as there is a parking spot on the road, off the side of the road, and then there's a short hike into where the camping actually is. So you still have access to your vehicle, but you're not camping right there at your vehicle. So if we click roadside, it's going to open a map, and then we can um, zoom in to look at the campsites that are available. So this was ours right here. So all of the dispersed campsites have a number and a road name. And when you get there to the site, there is an actual post with the number and the road name. You do have to pay to reserve the site and you print out a permit when you do that that you should bring with you. So when you're looking at the map, green are ones that are available and gray is one, are ones that are already booked. And then if you scroll down further, you'll see a list of sites. The blue ones down here are the ones that are available and you can click to see details. And then the ones further down are no longer available. So if we click see details, it'll bring up a map so you can see reservations around it, um, change dates. You can also see other information about what is available. Some of them will even tell you like whether a trailer would be appropriate, whether that would fit. Um, so it just gives you a lot of information about it and oftentimes pictures. The reservation system is for Pennsylvania State Forest, not the Allegheny National Forest. We will be staying in Allegheny in a couple more days, and so we'll talk about that when we get there. Pennsylvania has 20 state forests. Wahana Highway is a scenic byway that cuts through the Moshannon State Forest. So we're cutting through here, then we'll be back on the highway for a little while, and then we'll enter Bald Eagle State Forest. Mm. So says speed limit's 55 on here. I'm going 40. City life and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. 
Country song with steep grade up ahead. Driving my life away. Driving my life away. Wishing for a sunny day. Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about Breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this Funny business Cause up there it's complicated And overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is breakneck Paycheck to put billboards, especially complicated ones like that. Yeah, they should say, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're getting in the area because I remember Poe Patty is like in I mentioned earlier that we have some questions about the reservation system as well. Advanced reservations are required, but if you're looking for a campsite the day of, any that are still available at that point become first come first serve. They recommend that you call or that you stop in at one of the offices, but if the offices are closed, then they rely on more of an honor system. So we're not exactly sure how that works with the dispersed campsites. So the website warns you that it's possible that a campsite may say it's available and then when you get there it's actually not because somebody has already taken it on a first come first serve basis. So we're kind of curious like how often that happens and if that ends up being a problem. We're also curious how many people just come out to camp without actually making the reservations and and what you would do if you reserved a site and then got there and somebody was in your site. So that was one of the things we were a little bit nervous about. So we're curious how often that happens and what you do about it if it does happen. 
If anyone has had experience with this, either here in Pennsylvania or elsewhere, we would love to hear about it. Reed's Gap State Park is right on the edge of Bald Eagle State Forest. So we pulled in here for just a minute so Tim and I could both look at the maps together to make sure we knew where we were going. We did reserve a campsite ahead of time and we had pinpointed it on the map, but there are a few different ways we could have gotten there. So we wanted to come to a consensus as to which was the best way to go. You must get some good rain. Look at the yeah. kind of muddy though. River is. sure go ahead and pull up that way because uh, on mine it looks like it's a four-way oh oh this is how mine says to go locust ridge road no winter maintenance so oh we got debris in the road <laughs> so watch for truck traffic so we'll probably get to where our campsite is supposed to be and they'll have clear cut the whole area. We can text. Okay. 
just to, oh, somebody's here. Somebody's parked here. Crab gap. We always right. let family know what area we're going to be in. And whenever possible, if we have a cell signal, as we get close to where we're camping, we send a more specific location. So somebody has that info. We actually had really good cell signal right here at this gap, and it's only a few minutes away from the campsite. Scared. You're scaring the poor little mouse. We could actually uh, stand and let the front down more. I don't know if that's possible. That's coming over. Right over. Uh, when we went to we grab the cheese and crackers. Uh, sure. And, uh, Bottles of water. So that root here, forgot about the camera when it started to rain and Tim had to run out and grab it. We had cheese and crackers for dinner in the comfort of our campana. And then right before sunset, it stopped raining and we drove back to that gap to get a couple more pictures. And then we explored a little further down the road because I knew there were a couple other campsites not too far away, so we wanted to check them out. Mm -hmm. I would say so. Oh, yeah. This is, for, this is the one that you can drive in. Oh, nice. Yeah, this would be a nice one. 
That's probably nicer than the one that that I picked. Sight unseen. Nice. to come back here more in the daylight and uh so this is 65 that road looks a little muddy <laughs> We headed back to our Campana and called it a night. It started raining again shortly thereafter, and we slept really well with the sound of rain on the roof. Tomorrow morning, we'll be up early to explore more of Bald Eagle State Forest. And then we'll also be headed to Centralia on this trip. We're about an hour away, and we couldn't be this close and not go check it out. So we'll definitely bring you along for that adventure as well. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.